another thing that you guys probably have heard a lot across a lot of the YouTube channels that are very, that are, you know, always bullish on Bitcoin and they're never bearish on Bitcoin. And they talk about prices like a hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollar Bitcoin. Uh, one thing they always talk about is that, you know, at some point Bitcoin is going to stabilize. They always talk about how, you know, at some point Bitcoin is going to, you know, rally up to, you know, a hundred thousand or 200,000, right? And then we're going to stabilize at that price and Bitcoin is going to become a stable currency at an, an extremely high price, right? Um, but they never talk about how that that's actually a possibility now. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson. Today, we're going to be talking about the price of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin actually did see a pullback below support. We're currently retesting the left and right shoulder support area of the inverse head and shoulders that we saw um, at the end of November. Bitcoin is currently trading at $6,855. Now, we're going to be going over, of course, some short term stuff and some long term stuff. For those of you who keep track of the crypto space and who watch YouTube regularly, the people you know, all you guys out there who look at Twitter and you keep track of all the top crypto influencers, there is a lot of drama right now. Everybody's mad at each other uh, because, of course, the prices are trending down. If Bitcoin was trending up, people would not be angry. And because the prices are trending down, everybody is, is quite angry. And I'm going to explain a little bit of that here, uh, why that is right now. And I'm going to be talking about how I see the overall chart for Bitcoin and why things are very different for Bitcoin right now than they have been in the past. Also, for those of you who trade on exchanges like Coinbase, Bitfinex, Bitstamp, um, Binance, and, and all the top exchanges. Um, if you're using the CryptoWatch platform, which is the platform that I've been using for the past few years, and it's the platform that I use in all my videos, if you sign up for CryptoWatch on the, with the basic package, you can actually trade on all those exchanges all from one place, and you don't have to log into the, your exchanges anymore. So definitely click that link below and sign up right now. But now let's get started on the Bitcoin analysis. I'm looking at the four hour chart right now for Bitcoin. Uh, we're currently trading below $6,850. Um, if you're looking at the price, if I just drop a horizontal line here, Bitcoin is currently retesting the left and right shoulder of the inverse head and shoulders that we saw before that short term reversal. So towards the end of November, the bulls were able to gain a little bit of momentum for a short period of time and actually create a short term reversal and retest that $7,800 level. And we actually got rejected off of that previous support and it is now resistance and we are actually continuing to see lower highs. So let's just take a look at the daily chart now. Uh, we can see that Bitcoin has not created a higher high yet. We have only created lower lows and lower highs. The interesting thing about what's going on right now is even if Bitcoin drops to the 6,000 level and we find support off the 6,000 level, or even if Bitcoin, you know, begins to range back up towards the 8,000 level, um, overall, this doesn't change anything for Bitcoin. We, we would still be sitting within the downward sloping price channel. Overall, Bitcoin still has a lot of work to do before we actually break out of this trajectory. We're currently still on a downward sloping trajectory, just stuck in this price channel, and we still have a lot of room to both the upside and the downside before anything actually changes. Overall, the trend is down, guys. We are in a downtrend. Let's just go to the weekly chart real quick, and I just wanna explain to you guys, you know, the reason why most of the market is extremely upset right now, and the reason why most people in the crypto space are very, very frustrated frustrated is because of you know it's just the way it's the way that everything has played out recently a lot of people got involved in bitcoin after the run-up right once bitcoin broke up above you know uh, that twelve hundred dollar level and we had those first couple parabolic advances here above the all-time high um, you know, this this major run up here was when people really got a hold of Bitcoin, the general population, where a lot of my viewers and a lot of the traders across the space got involved in Bitcoin. You know, we've, we were in a downtrend in 2018 and we broke down to 3100 and there was only a few months right here where you could have really um, gotten involved in Bitcoin and been in profits, you know, to this day. So if you're just taking a look at Bitcoin's chart, I mean, overall, uh, Bitcoin has spent the majority of its time since the 20K peak actually trending down, right? Bitcoin has spent the majority of its time trending to the downside. And this is why the crypto space is extremely frustrated right now is because we only have really had this one area right here where you could have, you know, had any real long-term positions for Bitcoin that are still in the profit zone. The way that the chart is structured right now shows me that demand is actually decreasing for Bitcoin. We're not seeing an increase in demand. If you look at the search terms for Google, the tr Google trends for Coinbase and by Bitcoin, 
uh, we haven't really seen much of a move here. Um, the search term buy Bitcoin has seen an uptick um, just a little bit here in the month of December. We've gone from an eight to a nine on the 12 month. But overall, the, the term uh, Coinbase has actually trended down. We've gone from 28 to 25 here. Um, so, you know, there's not there hasn't really been much of a change in search terms like buy Bitcoin and Coinbase. Another thing that you guys probably have heard a lot across a lot of the YouTube channels that are very that are, you know, always bullish on Bitcoin and they're never bearish on Bitcoin. And they talk about prices like one hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollar Bitcoin. Uh, one thing they always talk about is that you know, at some point, Bitcoin is going to stabilize. They always talk about how, you know, at some point, Bitcoin is going to, you know, rally up to, you know, 100,000 or 200,000, right? And then we're going to stabilize at that price. And Bitcoin is going to become a stable currency at an, an extremely high price, right? Um, but they never talk about how that that's actually a possibility now. Um, if Bitcoin breaks below our previous low here at 6,500, and we start to see lower lows in the price of Bitcoin. And let's say we start trending down towards, you know, like the 5,000 level, 4,900 level. We find support here. and We rally up here going into the halving. You know, we, ha we have a rally off of a low point or something. At that point, you know, th that's when the stabilization would occur, in my opinion. Bitcoin would become very stable. If we break below 6,500, in my opinion, Bitcoin would be entering in, in a time of long-term stability. And all these channels talking about how when Bitcoin hits 100,000, 200,000, that's when we're going to see it stabilize. They never actually consider that Bitcoin could be stabilizing now. Just considering that, obviously, the demand for Bitcoin is starting to decrease here a little bit. Um, and, it, and if we do see lower lows in the price of Bitcoin and we start testing lower prices, that stabilization that everyone keeps talking about could actually be taking place now. And instead of just rallying into a new bull market, um, you know, in the near term going into the next halving, that stabilization, you know, the decrease in demand for Bitcoin could be creating stabilization within this region above 3,100 and below 20,000, right? This could be the zone of stabilization for Bitcoin. Something that also supports this theory is the 21 week EMA. Um, historically, you know, Bitcoin is always holding above the 21 week EMA during its bull markets. And once you start to see these pullbacks below the 21 one, once you start to see these pullbacks below the 21 week EMA and you, you know you test above it and pull back below it, that's when you enter bear markets, right? And here as well for Bitcoin in 2017, 2018, uh, Bitcoin tests below the 21 week EMA, tests above it, tests below it, tests above it, tests below it. We enter a bear market. I mean, that's something you see during, you know, the beginning of downtrends. And right now, Bitcoin is actually doing that, right? We're pulling back below the 21 week EMA. We're testing above it, pulling below it, just like 2017, 2018, and just like 2013, 2014. This is something that happens before Bitcoin enters a downtrend. So, you know, if we break below 6,500 again, in my opinion, we could be entering a trader's market, right? Where actually, you know, the trading opportunities would be immense, right? You would have incredible trading opportunities. You know, you would be getting these the, these types of swings of, um, you know, 45% to the downside, 155% to the upside, another 50% to the downside, another 60% to the upside, right? This is incredible trading opportunity. Uh, what would end up happening at this point is people that are long-term holders of Bitcoin would slowly start to weed out and trader, the trading activity would increase. You know, you would have a lot better trading activity. You know, and maybe after a certain period of time, eventually Bitcoin rallies, right? So in my opinion, if we continue to see lower lows for Bitcoin here, and we start trending down, um, I actually think we would end up entering a trader's market. I actually think Wall Street would be more interested in something like this, where you have stability and more, you know, longer term swings, more stable swings, rather than Bitcoin kind of just continuing on the long term growth pattern. I think Wall Street would be a little bit more interested in this type of environment, and it would give them a lot more time to accumulate Bitcoin at these levels before any sort of major rally in the future. Now, this scenario that I'm talking about would in my opinion, would likely occur if Bitcoin cannot find support in this area. If we continue to trend down from here, I think that we would be entering a long-term area of stability. Um, and, you know, if we do find support right here in this region and we, we actually can rally above the 21-week EMA, then sure, Bitcoin could be continuing its normal long-term growth pattern where we break the all-time high for the halving and we find new highs for Bitcoin, right? But if we can't, if we can't find support here anytime soon and we start to trend down, this would be, you know, we would be entering a, a time of stability 
and an area you know where traders would thrive and long-term holders would sort of um, you know get a little bit depressed most likely um, of course Wall Street uh, is very good at being patient and Wall Street would very likely be accumulating for a long period of time at these low prices but again guys this is really just speculation this is just how I see the markets playing out if Bitcoin continues to sell off from here uh, we're gonna have to see how, how things play out um, here in the near term again we're still stuck in this downward sloping price channel and we're still just stuck in the downward trend as long as we're just ping-ponging off of you know this demand line in this um, supply line then Bitcoin there's really no change in the environment here but we'll have to see how this plays out again I'm still really neutral in this area I mean things you know we are in a downtrend and as people say the trend is your friend um, but you know as of right now I am still a little bit more neutral if we start breaking our lows here if we start pulling back below 6500 um, I, I would see that as a very bearish sign and I would get a little bit more bearish on Bitcoin. Generally, Bitcoin is not sitting within downward sloping trends coming out of bear markets. We, we're, we're generally upward sloping. But that's just how I'm seeing the charts right now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, um, leave your comments below. I want to know what you guys think about these ideas. And also be sure to sign up with the CryptoWatch platform and I will see you all in the next video.